my name is Krishna Swanepoel and I'm the principal at Crawford Preparatory Pretoria. Our school is 25 years old next year. We actually have 600 children from grade one to grade seven. My name is teacher Alice and I'm the physical education teacher here at Crawford Pretoria. My name is Anthea Yodan. I'm the deputy principal at Crawford Preparatory as well as the primary years program coordinator. Two years ago, we were told that we were going to add a principal's conference, that we were going to go for this international baccalaureate program, which to be honest, not many of us knew what it was about. And I can tell you that your, what has been achieved in two years is super amazing. I must say we were all, we were all just getting into our open spaces and, and getting the co collaboration ready and then came COVID. And then we had to draw one by five squares in the classrooms and the children are back in their lines, but that didn't stop our teachers. It is so wonderful to see that they're still carrying on with us on Teams, on the online platform. I have been on an amazing journey, a journey of absolute discovery, a discovery of self, a discovery of me. And when I say discovery of self and discovery of me, I'm talking about me, the teacher, as well as me, the student. Just from my learning experience as well, from being the traditional teaching teacher in PE, where it was based on, let's run, let's get fit. Um, it's all about developing the muscles to where now it is completely way different, where the children are literally connecting with things that are happening in their world. And the world evolves each and every single year. And so does the education within the IB, the content and the concepts within the content. You cannot really say it's regurgitated. Each and every year you're gonna dictate and say, this is what I've taught this year, next year I'm gonna teach that. It is completely different. You adapt to as the world evolves, you also evolved around it as well. I make sure I speak to the teachers, find out how they feel, and then obviously to the children, and that's the most fun, is to go into the classroom, see how amazing they, they have just, yeah, you know, they embody everything that I think a global citizen should embody. And this is really an amazing program. I, I can't say thank you enough for welcoming us uh, as part of this. The difference that I see, I see children that can actually come to you and teach you something as well. It's no longer, I'm the teacher, I'm the boss, where you, you actually become them as well. You've got children that are coming to you and actually teaching you and saying, teacher, I've learned this. Do you perhaps know this? And you say, no, I don't know it. And you yourself, you become a lifelong learner. So the learning is just not only in the classroom, it's just, it is just carried outside as well, which is the most exciting thing to see happen in education. It's actually amazing to see how little grade ones can tell you that lockdown has taught their minds to be more principled because it's so easy to cheat and mommy can help me but Mrs. Swanepoel, I have done this myself and it's amazing that they can actually think about things like that. And if I look at the teachers, one of the teachers has actually said to me, I didn't realize that I always thought my way of doing it is the right way but through collaboration I have learned that I see how I think and how the thinking has changed working inside my group. One of the other teachers has also told me that now that I'm collaborating, I actually see what the other subjects are doing. Whereas on my own, when I was teaching my own subject, I didn't know what was happening with the other subjects. So for the, for the teachers, there's definitely quite a bit of growth. And this little grade two, said, Mrs. Swanepoel, I've become a communicator. And I said to her, now Talana, tell me why you've, uh, tell me more about it. And she said, I've learned that when I'm scared and I don't know what to do about this, this disease, all I need to do is talk to people. I must speak to my mommy and I must speak to my daddy. And there she went on five minutes in my Crawford Connects, telling all the children how they must just communicate. And little Kumo telling me, I've become principled because I had to teach my brain that it cannot cheat. And I had to be online when I had to be online. And it's just amazing that they link those, those, those learner profiles with what they've learned even through this current time. Because now the children have action, they have a say. 
their student voice. They have a say in their learning, whereas before it was the teacher standing in front and actually doing all the teaching. The children now have a say in their assessments, in the work that they are actually doing. So it's, there's, there's progress both sides, from the teacher as well as from the students. It has changed things completely for me. I go home, I need to make sure the next day I come back, I come prepared for my children. I don't leave my work at, in the classroom, you know. I need to go home and make sure that when I come back, I've also connected with the world. I'm finding out what's happening now that can be relevant to what I want to teach in the classroom. It's not what's in my textbook that I want to go teach them tomorrow. It's what's happening now in the world that I know the kids can connect with it as well, that can familiarize and say, ah, teacher Alice said this, I also know about it, you know, which is really, really, really exciting. Our teachers have become facilitators. They are not standing in front of the class teaching anymore. So our whole learning and teaching has really, really changed for the good. It is super exciting to be able to see what happens in our school. And I'm so proud of what has been achieved over the past 18 months. And I'm really looking forward to what's going lying ahead for all of us. We are very, very excited about the IB and specifically about the PYP, the Primary Years Programme.